how's it going? Welcome to Doctor Who Reaction Week, where I react to episodes of Doctor Who Series 9 leading up to the Christmas special. The last episode I watched was Face the Raven, and oh my god was that emotional. I'm still not completely over the fact that Clara is dead. She's gone and the doctor's by himself, and he just got teleported, and we don't know where he's gonna go. But we are going to find out right now. <laughs> gonna be one of those dark episodes then, huh? The hand just completely disappeared. I feel like this is an episode that I should watch in the dark to really fully experience it, but if I do, then I can't record my reactions, so maybe the second time I'll watch it. This is really creepy. Okay, he's scared now. It's not good if the doctor's scared. It's really not good. I just realized that. I'm actually scared of dying. You said you're scared of dying. You won't see this coming. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sorry I'm late. He jumped out of a window. Sad and death. Don't you want to know how I survived? He just, so yes, I want to know how you survived. You jumped out of a no, flipping window. Of course I had to jump. There's a storeroom in your mind. Lock the door and think. This is my storeroom. I always imagine that I'm back in my TARDIS. Showing off, telling you how I escaped, making you laugh. Oh my god. That's what I'm doing right now. I love how they're connecting that to the TARDIS and like, in his mind doing all these calculations. This is amazing! This is so good! He could easily just give up right now, but he's not going to because he is the doctor! The world and the universe, everything needs him. Oh my god, there are a lot of skulls. Why are there so many skulls at the bottom? That is horrifying. What is it? What is it? I am. I am what? I am in. I am in 12. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> that was not the close one. That legit scared me to death. Oh, I was not prepared for that. I have to tell truths I've never told before. That's the only thing that stops it. The day you lose someone isn't the worst. At least you've got something to do. It's all the days. They stay dead. I think this whole place is inside a closed energy loop. Constantly recycling. There are two events in everybody's life that nobody remembers. Your breath and your two death. Two moments experienced by every living thing. Yet no one remembers anything about them. Nobody remembers being born. And nobody remembers dying. Is that why we always stare into the eye sockets of a skull? Because we're asking, what was it like? Does it hurt? Are you still scared? This is beautifully written. Bird. Bird? What's bird got to do with it? Are the birds here? It's room 12. What's in room 12? It's an empty door. Really? A lure. <gasps> a trap. That was insane! That transition from his head to the skull was really creepy. I confess. I know the hybrid is real. I know where it is and what it is. I confess. I'm afraid. Real, I'm getting chilled. Who is the hybrid? I can't keep doing this, Clara. I can't. Why is it always me? Why is it ever anybody else's turn? It's not fair. Clara, it's just not fair. Why can't I just lose? Whatever I do, you still will win. Doctor, you are not the only person who ever lost someone. It's the story of everybody. God, they brought her back for this. This is amazing. Get up off your ass and win. Yes. Yes. Oh, Why did you think hitting it would help? You just let 
it was stronger than diamond. I'm gonna get out of here. Fight. Whoever put me here in the first place. And whatever they're trying to do, I'm gonna stop it now. In seconds. It attempt. Oh my god. Is he alive? This place is my own bespoke torture chamber. Intended for me only. But all those skulls in the water. How could there be other prisoners in my hell? The answer, of course, is there were never any other prisoners. Oh my god. I went in the wrong place. And I haven't time traveled. The room has reset. Returned to its original condition when I arrived. That means there's a copy of me still in the hard drive. Me? Exactly as I was when I first got here. Seven thousand years ago. <gasps> All I have to find. Seven thousand. We don't really need fire energy. Oh my God. Something to burn. Oh my God. That was his skull. He's the one that wrote bird. How long can I keep doing this? Uh, Burning the old me. To make a new one. It keeps repeating. For 7,000 years. This is horrible. Let's say I traveled 7,000 years into the future. That's his skull. Those are all his skulls. Transported. But where? There's a confession dial! Go to the city. Find somebody important. Tell them I'm back. Back? Tell them I know what they did. And I'm on my way. Back where? And if they ask you who I am, tell them I came the long way around. <laughs> where are you? Where where are you? Are you are you where I think you are? Because it's Gallifrey. He is in Gallifrey. You got the prophecy wrong. The hybrid is not half Dalek. Nothing is half Dalek. The Daleks would never allow that. The hybrid is me. <gasps> are you serious? Oh my God. Oh my god, <laughs> what did I just watch? Doctor Who did not disappoint. Everybody was telling me they are so good. The last three episodes are incredible. After I watched Face the Raven, everyone was like, feel like that one, just wait, just wait. It gets better. You were totally right. That was phenomenal.
These episodes are so brilliantly written and acted. I mean, Peter was really the only speaking role in that entire episode. And aside from like the Grim Reaper character, he was the only character. And he did such an amazing job. I was hooked the entire time. It is incredibly difficult for one actor to carry an entire episode all on his own and he made it look effortless. It's so heartbreaking that the doctor had to go through this immediately after Clara's death. He lost her and he's heartbroken and terribly upset and he has to go through all of this pain and suffering completely alone. But I think he handled it really well. He wanted to give up and he kept saying, I wanna give up, can I just lose this one time? But he remembered that Clara would not let him. In his mind, whenever he's thinking of being back in the TARDIS and working out this mystery and talking to Clara as if she was still there and what she would say to him. And he knew that she wouldn't want him to give up, that she would want him to keep going. And so he does keep going and he keeps going for over a billion years, over and over and over again in this loop of pain and suffering. It's to chip away just a tiny little bit of the wall every single time, just a tiny bit, and for billions of years. And then he hauls his bloodied weak body back to basically burn so he can create a new copy. And the moment that hit me the hardest in this episode, was when we found out that all of those skulls were his. That he had to experience that pain that many times. It was really difficult to watch. But Peter did such an incredible job in that role. Just so incredible. For this episode specifically, the music and the editing were phenomenal. The loop that they did, the editors, creating that loop so it didn't feel like you were watching the same thing over and over again, but that you could feel the pain that he experienced going through that over and over again was so good. Like the editing was on point. It was amazing. It was phenomenal. <sighs> I'm just, I'm still overwhelmed by that entire episode. I was speechless through most of it. It was so mysterious and you didn't know what was happening and then everything that was revealed at the end, I just didn't know how to take it all in and I'm still kind of processing everything right now. It was incredible, absolutely incredible. And now he's on Gallifrey, and there's a hybrid? But the way that he worded it at the end is incredibly confusing. Because is the Doctor the hybrid? Or is me the hybrid? Maisie Williams' character. I don't know! I thought it was the Doctor, but then I was like, hold on a minute, she calls herself me. Massive cliffhanger. Massive. I am thoroughly excited to see the next episode. I want to find out how long has it been for everyone on Gallifrey since the Time War. Like, how long has that been? So if you guys like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. Check back for my reaction of the next episode and the Christmas special. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye!